All right, we are having so much fun here at the bank getting ready for the first day of the draft and the big draft party here at Daly's Place. I think I might be a little tired once the draft party starts. What about you? Oh, no way. I'm too excited for the draft. Yeah, too excited. You know, that's but when you're up at 4 a.m. and you're as old as I am, it feels a little different. But we are going to have fun at the draft party for sure. I want to bring in Chad Johnson, who is VP of Marketing and Sales um, and Ticket Sales. I mean, let's talk a little bit about that. How does the draft create that momentum and get people really excited about the team and, and want to come to games? You know, it really started last year. and We had the first overall pick, which resulted in Trevor Lawrence being a Jacksonville Jaguar. And, and we know the season didn't go as we wanted, but we ended on a high note with the victory over the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah. Uh, we bring in a Super Bowl winning coach who yeah. will be out addressing our fans tonight at the draft party. And then with the first overall pick again, there, there's significant moments in time that we really see upticks in ticket sales. And this draft party is one of them. Yeah, you know, and it does seem like it's a, a more of an intimate conversation with the coach. You have some of the players that are going to be up there. Um, in the draft room, which I thought was a great idea. You feel like you're in the room where it happens. Well, it's, it's been a couple of years since we've been able to connect with our fans around a full-scale draft party, right? Last year was in the stadium socially distant. The year before, we couldn't do that. And our fans just love to come together and celebrate. So when they can do that around our coaches and players and feel like part of the family, it's just such a special time. Yeah, when's the next bump in ticket sales? Because I, I imagine, you know, folks are kind of like, do I want to go to a game? Do I not? Are they going to win? Are they not? You know, yeah. some of those questions that people the, the next big thing is May 12th. So okay. the NFL schedule comes out May 12th. Okay. That's when we will know exact opponents, what game dates happen. Yeah. So we see a real big pickup then. And then when training camp is coming around the corner and the players are back on the field, you see another one leading into the season. So who are they going to pick as the first round pick? I promise you I want nothing to do with that. I don't want to know, and I don't want to have to keep that secret. That. But I'll find out when our fans find out tonight, yes. too, and, and it's going to be exciting. Exactly right. All right. Chad, thank you so much. I had to ask. I was like, you know, who knows? Who knows? He might have slipped up. All right, ladies, give me a little spirit. Give me a little dance. Keep us going. Coming up, we are going to hear more from the D-line. We're going to hear more from the Roar and Jackson DeVille in the house as well as we are getting ready for the big draft party. You can come and get ready to park at 5 o'clock. The parking lot's open open up and then at six o'clock the gates open seven o'clock the pregame entertainment starts and then again at 808 we will know who that first round pick for the Jacksonville Jags is going to be I feel it in the air it's either wind or it's winning I'm just gonna say it's winning we'll be right back after the break